something there is in the float of the sight of things that provokes it out of the soul. Now I re-examine philosophies and religions. They may prove well in lecture rooms, yet not prove at all under the spacious clouds and along the landscape and the flowing currents. I think uh, Walt Whitman is trying to tell us something here, like maybe we should hold our class outdoors or maybe we shouldn't hold it at all. <laughs> now, before we get into the uh, elegy on Lincoln, I thought it might be a good idea for us to first review uh, a little bit of the activity that Mr. Whitman was up to during the Civil War. Yeah. Professor Beckwith, didn't he try to buy his brother out of serving in the Army? Yeah, and wasn't his older brother George wounded during the war? Yeah, George was wounded in Fredericksburg. That's why he went to Washington. Well, I think that might be a little bit of a cop-up. He's, He's obviously an egomaniac. He wrote his own review. Oh, Wait a minute, calm down, just a minute. Now, I find this really fascinating that here we are, fighting amongst ourselves and, and defending one position and another on the man's personal life. And not a word, not one phrase, not one reference to any individual work that he did. The important thing is what the man stood for. And that's reflected in his work. 